It's a blank notepad. I see a blank notepad. Food? Yeah, we're, I just wondered, you know. That's why I'm here, really. We're, we're seeking so much help, you know, for food and stuff like that. It, it really is. It's just, it's, it's food stuff, really. And, and, like, aspirin would be nice, actually. The Trusty 8 Patreon Project presents... Am I ready for a relationship? Probably not. Spoiler alert. So I was recently doing this weird little thing called introspection. Surprise, surprise. Uh, started learning things about myself. I harbor some very uh, codependent, toxic tendencies um, in most of my personal relationships. Right? And I know this, I'm, I'm cognizant of it, so it's, it's really not an excuse. As I've come to explore more of these ideas, um, and the reasons why I need therapy, uh, we'll say, relationships I've had for long periods of time, which are extremely unhealthy, which are unresolved, and will probably never be resolved. And your partners, or even prospective partners, I found, like, I am, you know, friended with people on Facebook who I have gone on dates with, and, um, you know, I see somebody post, uh, you know, just had the perfect date last night, and it's like, oh, well, we dated a few months ago, and um, you didn't see anything like that, so clearly I was not the perfect or even the, you know, half, you know, halfway perfect date uh, at that point in time. But I'm also not in a position in my life where I have a lot to give. Um, I need to do a lot for myself. There's a lot going on over here that I need to take care of before I can be in a position to properly give to another person, right? And so that's that's my hang up. And um, I should be happy for that person. You know, they are not experiencing these hang ups. There's something about uh, success. Keep it real, homies. And down there, I think you can usually cross during the dry season, but not so much right now. We call success. Anytime I uh, begin to experience some measure of success in my personal life, um, I end up in a cycle which is self-sabotage. Like, I internalize and wonder why why do I deserve this and um, you know maybe I shouldn't even have whatever little bit I do have I start to self-destruct and 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 then I do this thing where I measure my success to uh, what other people attain right I don't really strive for material wealth although many people do and in the assessment of a mature and healthy relationship many people will assess whether or not your partner has property value and this is the idea that I am against like wholesale full stop I am against um, assessing one's partner as an asset but this is the way much of the world works right fucking soul out of my boot. Many of the people we know, we can say, this is how they are assessing other people. And then I wonder, what am I looking for in a part? But I, I think somebody should be reasonably healthy um, and attractive. You, you need to be attracted to one's partner. As long as you find them attractive, that's what's like primarily important there. But the other thing is, is having some level of respect. Um, if you can respect the attitude that your partner holds, then you yourself are on a, um, a level playing field with that person. Whereas if you expect to constantly change your partner, like you end up being uh, in a position where you feel you are superior to your partner, and then you end up being an abusive or toxic person. I do fundamentally believe in loving people for who they are, but also encouraging them to grow. Um, because if you fail to 
sufficiently motivate them, then you have failed as a partner. But another part of this is internalization, this constant internalization of these emotional states um, when you're with a partner and it's a healthy, flowing, productive relationship, you should be able to share these thoughts um, and not keep it in and not internalize it, right? Um, really, all healthy partnerships are dependent on communication.